Hello and welcome back to me playing Oxygen Not Included. It is a new day. Carnivore achievement is behind me. Well, it would have been. Except I decided to roll back to cycle 92. <clears throat> only reason is because I was a little bit hasty in my dupe selection. And I took a dupe that had only one interest. At this point of the game, I very much want a dupe that has three different interests. So that it gives them a uh, ability to increase their morale as I'm upgrading multiple different types of skills. So I'm um, excuse me, calling this dupe explorer because they supply build dig. They're going to be a very good uh, dupe on a new world to explore it, set up a base, and do building, digging, all that type of thing. And they're starry eyed, so they get an extra morale bonus while they're in space because they're going to be in a rocket traveling to all these new places. So I will just pretty much do the same thing I did in the last playthrough to uh, go to cycle. Nice nine or something when I get the carnivore achievement, and I'll get you there. One slight change I'm making while I'm waiting for the carnivore achievement to reappear is I'm going to put a fine oxygen in this rocket so that when the dupes are constructing inside this rocket, they at least can breathe while they're doing it. Still waiting for the carnivore achievement, but I decided I will advance the rocket a little bit. I want two lines going to the rocket. One is polluted water. This may seem a little strange, but this is going to be a source of oxygen, at least polluted oxygen, while the dupe is flying around in space. So I'm going to put that in a liquid reservoir, destroy it, and make a water bottle, a polluted water bottle. And that's going to uh, serve as my method for allowing dupes to breathe in space. Just going to be careful here to create tiles. Don't lose all this power or hydrogen. All right, so that is polluted water. That's going to be going. Actually, maybe I'll even not fully connect it just yet because I don't want to fill a full liquid reservoir. That would create an overpressure in the cabin. The other thing is I need a source of power. This is going to be a carbon dioxide line. This is going to provide the carbon dioxide to actually do a flight. So another tile will be needed again. Do that at high priority. For the first rocket that's going to be traveling, I decided I also want to drop a payload material. It's going to be refined metal, aluminum, so I can build a rocket platform on this new rocket so I can actually land there. I get a dupe to be able to build it. So if I want to build a rocket platform on other worlds, I need 800 pieces of refined metal. Might take a little bit more than that, just to build other things. Uh, no manufacturing material, that is refined metal. Aluminum. Let's take over... I'll try for 1,200. If I get at least 1,000, I'll be happy. Now, I don't have that much aluminum right now, and I can't actually produce the amount of aluminum either, but I can destroy things I don't need anymore, such as the incubator, the air loader, and auto sweeper. It's going to give me a little bit of my metal back. I'll produce a few more units. medium be loaded up here and I'll fill it with 20 tons and I can start the process of filling this up part of the way we need for about half a ton included water so now connect this this should be sending the polluted water on its way I'm going to carefully watch this so that it doesn't become overfilled because so I don't want a very hefty polluted water bottle causing an overpressure inside that that's going to pop that would pop the eardrums of my dips. Alright, so nearly half a ton of polluted water. Let's stop that process. Just try it a little bit closer. Say so right there. Oops, if you can destroy that pipe, it'd be very helpful. So let's 
to look at how much I'm gonna get in the end. It's under a ton, I'd be happy. Looks like 800, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna destroy it right now. I'll wait till I launch, but I want a full thing of filtration before I go. Actually, maybe not, because the first mission, I'm actually not sending a dupe to land. The first mission is just to send the rover. So actually, I think if I put some food in, I'm ready to send this rocket wall. I gotta make sure it's loaded with the material that I want. Oh god. Not 715. Nope, I definitely need more aluminum ore before I go. Colony achievement earned. That's gotta be the carnivore achievement again. So this is the last episode, but I just want to switch up the latest dupe. So that is behind me now, officially. Never looking back on that, at least for this playthrough. I'll store some more water, no, regular water, hot water. Enable this. Just in case I ever have to pivot back to something other than meat. At least for partial, you know, the deep snakes. Oh yeah, I also killed the uh, tile and like this, because I'm not currently using it. This was just providing uh, heat. I I ever want to run the material study terminal. So I'm nearly ready to send this rocket out, so I'm going to destroy this here. And I'm going to store a little bit of dirt inside this location one ton so that I can build an outhouse so that the dupe that's flying will have a place to relieve themselves instead of just making this a rocket. So I'm going to find that in the cultivatable soil. Store a ton of dirt there. Let's also store some edibles. Let's see what. Uh, I'm gonna send the dupe that actually gets a very high morale bonus in space. So why not just put some meal ice there? Don't want that much. Let's see what five kilograms is in terms of calories. Okay, so now I'm ready to build a outhouse. Build that right on top of the rocket. Dirt already. Oh, that's still sand. Let's get rid of that. Sand on the ground. Make sure the dupes fill this with dirt so this can be re refilled if it needs to. One other thing I realized is I'm going to want to make a manual generator so I can run this guy here, the deodorizer. I won't be able to do that unless I have metal when I get up in space. So I got a plan for that. So, the last thing I'm going to load is more aluminum ore. Let's put in 400 kilograms. That's the one for a generator. Actually, I only needed 200, but I have a little bit extra on the back there. And destroy, actually, I can now destroy this. Why cancel that? I'll just build the uh, manual generator before I take the rocket off. That'll help. Manual generator is being put in place. I'd say the rocket is now ready to go. realize that the dupes have been picking up that polluted water. Oh, that is irritating. Um, please don't do that, dupes. I'm going to turn this off. Or hit sweep only, anyway. How much do I have left? 18 kilograms. Huh. We'll see how this goes. It's just going to be a short mission back and forth again. I can reload more on the next mission. <laughs> Worst case, I'll save at this point if my dupes end up uh, dying from not having enough uh, ability to breathe. But yeah, let, let's experiment. I'm going to say that the new dupe, Explorer, you're going to be, or have I not given you, I'll give you the ability to pilot, so Explorer. You pilot. You're going to be driving this thing. And we're ready to go. We're just going to go to the edge of this world here. Deploy the uh, material, which is now full, and rover, and come back. And we'll see how this all goes. And just in case things go wrong, I'll make a save here that I can go back to. 
first rocket. There we go. Explorer is holding your breath on the way up to the rocket. You're getting in. We're about to blast off. Just want to check the heat because I eventually want to make solar panels at this location. Looks like that would be okay. There is the rocket on the way. Deploy a rover and some materials on a new world. So they'll explore in time. That's going to be there in 0.6 cycles. I see a colony achievement earned. We're at cycle 100. That must just be the survival to uh, turn of the century. Oh, win the space race. We'll launch your first rocket, of course. Excellent. Two achievements in this cycle. Nice. We're arriving in the border of this asteroid in just a few seconds. Here we are. I'm going to deploy the material and the rover. Choose a location for the rover. Let's land right here. Go have a look. Actually, so there is the rover. The rover's landed. I'm going to make sure that I send the other Duke back home. So let's not abandon the ship. Let's go back so that you have access to ability to breathe and eat new food. And now I can start to give commands to this new rover and build out a living area for my dupes when they eventually arrive here in the future. One of the tasks that would be difficult for the dupes to do when they get here is to go in this unbreakable spot and open these. So I'm going to get the rover to empty these. Choose a location for the landing pad. Now the rover won't be able to build the landing pad because they need to, only a Duke can do that. But at least they'll have a spot chosen and the material will be ready, so all the Duke has to do is actually build the rocket for a landing pad. So you should be able to reach that one, so we'll get them to empty this. Go ahead and choose a spot for the rocket. Well, I actually may not be able to do that because the engine doesn't work. I'll have to wait for that to work. We're about to get everything, but I am now starting the process of building a door into the future little bit. So, meal ice has gone bad for this dupe. They are pretty hungry. Let's look to see how much time they have left. At 0.3 cycles. Let's get some food ready for them as soon as they land, dupes. So dupe has died. Looks like we're gonna be going back in time. How much time? 34 seconds, that's a shame. Okay, different food source. I thought it was gonna be the oxygen. That was an issue. But, uh, yeah, there's still tons of oxygen here. Okay, I'll go back and figure out a different food source. So let's fill this with a different type of food. Five kilograms of barbecue meat. Now barbecue meat I know is coming from the fridge, so maybe there's a good chance that'll last a little bit longer. Worst case, I'll build a fridge in here, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Barbecue meat is being loaded into the rocket. 20,000 calories. Oh. So obviously that's a little more dense. That's too much. Let's take that back down. Let's uh let's do two kilograms of barbecue. Actually even one fifth of that would be enough. We just want the food to not go bad, we don't need a lot of food. So it's gonna put barbecue meat on the ground. Assume it will. Yeah, I have to uh, drop it, so I'll get the, the dupe to load in one kilogram of barbecue meat. I'm going to put the rest in the fridge inside the asteroid. And trying this again. Same idea, just barbecue meat. 
notice that uh, this guy is using dormant, so we need to take advantage of that and get scientists to be able to visit. It's going to be a little bit of cool area work, but there's a little bit of oxygen. Let's check on this rocket. So, yeah, very close. Uh, Dupe has not died, that's good news. Just curious before it lands how many calories are in there. Yeah, still, the uh, barbecue meat still going strong. So, we'll be able to see that rocket land here pretty soon. And a, rock, and a rover is over on the other asteroid now. Constructing a living area for the dupes. So, I no longer need the, these two modules. I'm going to put in a trailblazer module instead. And that will be a wait for the rover to set up the base over here. They've got some work to do. I'll use it for every bit of uh, battery power that it has. And then switch over to the power. Starting on a place here to grow lettuce. We're very low in calories, so I just realized, let's turn on this system, making much burps. And up our amount of calories shown. So the rocket has opened up all the material I've needed to build a rocket platform. i put it right here. So maybe I'll move it one over just because I want to build a fire pole for the future. I'm going to put it right here. And this is going to be a tile clearance on the floor, where I'll eventually put solar panels. So the robot's not going to be able to construct this, but it'll at least be able to deliver the aluminum so that the dupe that is here will only have to worry building it on some I have a new place I'm going to store bleach stone. It's going to be right here. Do that high priority. I was previously storing that over here. I can now and that's just going to make it have uh, easy access to the dupes that want to supply the lettuce with bleach stone. So we need to find a source of salt water, not too far away, and just tap into this room. So we disabled the power control station, or at least removed the use of the union, because we were just having an abundance of hydrogen, and we figured instead of just releasing the seven in the air, might as well stop producing and consuming this little bit of metal. And then I'll just allow that to burn off and we'll put it uh, slide it back to the moon when the hydrogen gets to this level. So I'm going to get the robot to build the pump here. Because this is something they don't want to have. The dupes have to do because they'll get soaked in the and be a bit stressed out. So I'm draining out all the areas I want to build stuff. Try to keep these uh, hub slugs in this room here. Actually, use that as a power source in addition, in addition to the solar panels. So I successfully trapped these pug slugs in here. Check how much power is left. Uh, I'd like to build a wire there, but that's not a priority. I'm going to get the robot to concentrate on some living areas for it. So just putting the finishing touches. System. I'm going to make it set up so that the dupes don't get their feet wet when they're going. I'll have to deal with the hydrogen at that level in time. I'm not sure if they can actually reach this one. That this one may have been pointless, but that is not the end of the world. Let's go and check over on this asteroid. Okay, robot is wanting something to do. Let's put it to work. So I'm going to put a washroom in one of these rooms. Great haul together. We'll uh, have some living areas for the dupes when they arrive. So we don't get completely stressed out. Just have a robot over here digging out more rooms. This one have a washroom and have a barracks. And have a nature reserve, great hall, and a place for dupes to grow food. So we're gonna grow some of this bog weed buckets with all the polluted water that I have at the bottom of my base. I'm going to tap into this water here, I'm going to get the robot to do that rather than the dupes so that they don't have to go, the dupes don't have to go in and get crunched building the pump. And that's going to provide water to the washer. So this asteroid is called Sagista. I don't know if that's just because uh, there's so much water that the dupes would have to put up with. 
But my goal is to get the robot to deal with water, at least where I want to build some pumps. So I now am building a water pump that's going to provide water to the washroom. That's going to need power. So this is essentially just saving the dupes from getting not just their feet wet, but completely soaked. And I see that a little bit of polluted water is going to fall in there. I'll aim to build a tile on to hide that from the pump as we get to that point. Well, except for at that point. So I'll just put a tile right there. Just like the pump doesn't put polluted water into the washroom. But let's go over to the home world. Looks like we're ready now to build a pump. This is a salt water pump. Put it right here. That's going to provide salt water going into this new farm for lettuce. Of course, we're going to need power. We're short in metal, but we'll see if we can make it. Looks like we can. Less than 100 kilograms of uh, aluminum ore after this. But it's food production, so it is a high priority task to do this. that. Just screw this and connect it over there. So I'll now have a running washroom. Assuming there's no power on this rover. So not a lot of power. This may be one of the last tasks that they do. If they have any extra time, they're going to make a mess. I'll get the dupes to upgrade that too. A great hauler. That is it for the robot down for the count. So I still need to make a barracks and a uh, great hall, but at least I've got all the infrastructure pump-wise so that my dupes don't have to dig down here and some of the rooms are already carved. Out. First thing I'm going to have to do, this is something I wasn't able to do with Rover because they can't build insulated tiles, but I want to insulate the space from over here. And of course, a bunch of deodorizers would be very useful. That's why I'm bringing sand with me when I travel here for the first time with my dudes. I do have a little bit of phosphorite on this asteroid, so I can actually make a fertilizer. So that needs polluted water along with phosphorite. It's going to be very much limited by the amount of phosphorite that I have in this world, but the sun is better than anything. So that will be produced there. It's going to make a little bit of natural gas. But I've got carbon dioxide pouring in there, yeah, so I'm not so concerned about that. Let's see if we can get a scientist. Actually, maybe not, because... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually choose two dupes. Go on missions while I'm building a skill scroll here. I'm going to choose minor for sure, because when I get over to this asteroid, there's going to be a lot of digging still that's needed. Their skills will be very useful. I don't want to remove Cook and Chef because they're kind of keeping the uh, base everyone fed. Operator, I want to have over here. And Explorer just doesn't have the skills yet. I'd rather, so, I'd, so I think that's the two dupes I'm going to put through this. Then I'll send them in this rocket, actually, speaking of which, if I want to deploy someone, I'm going to need a Trailblazer module, so let's build that now. Check to see if I need to add any more polluted water. Hopefully, I have. 